Imagine a bird with wings spanning over 20 feet, wider than a small plane, soaring over ancient oceans 25 million years ago. This wasn't just any bird. This was Pelagornis sandersi, nicknamed the murder swan for good reason. Unlike today's gentle swans, Pelagornis had a beak lined with dozens of bony tooth-like projections that locked prey in a deadly grip. Scientists discovered its massive fossilized remains in 1983 in South Carolina, but it took decades to realize just how extraordinary this creature was. With its enormous wingspan, Pelagornis shattered the previous record held by the Argentavis, becoming the largest flying bird ever discovered. How did something so massive even take flight? Computer models suggest it couldn't take off by simply flapping its wings like modern birds. Instead, it likely needed to run downhill into headwinds or launch from cliffs, using air currents to stay aloft for possibly days or weeks at a time. Once airborne, Pelagornis was the perfect hunting machine. It glided efficiently over vast expanses of ocean, using minimal energy while scanning for fish beneath the waves. When prey was spotted, it would swoop down, plunge its beak into the water, and snatch fish with those pseudo-teeth. What's particularly fascinating is that Pelagornis existed across almost every continent, with fossils found from North America to Antarctica. Yet despite its global dominance, Pelagornis eventually disappeared around 2.5 million years ago. Scientists believe changing ocean currents and temperatures may have disrupted its food sources. The next time you see a seagull steal a french fry, just imagine. That bird's ancient cousin was once a winged terror with a toothed beak that ruled the skies for millions of years longer than humans have existed.